still obsessing over that third slice of pizza? Get over it. Letting go of food guilt and eating what you want is the healthiest food move you can make. As you work to let go of food shame, you may also find yourself eating more intuitively, which means choosing foods in response to your body's needs and wants. Here's how to get started. 1. Avoid nutritional mandates. We rely way too much on our brains to tell us how to eat, getting caught up in the number of calories or whether it's a good or bad food can keep you stuck. Instead, check in with your body for information. After you eat a meal or snack, ask, how am I feeling physically? And would I like to feel this way again? Then listen with curiosity and without judgment. 2. Honor your hunger. Even if that means you need to eat lunch at 11 a.m. or have a second or third helping. Reliably eating until you feel satiated teaches your brain and body to trust each other, which will help you feel more relaxed and in charge of your eating. 3. Let your weight work itself out. Once you stop food shaming, you may find yourself eating more and even, yes, gaining some weight. On the other hand, many people find they lose weight in this process, probably because guilt was leading them to overindulge in forbidden foods. Either way, we usually see weight stabilize over time, 